All right, so we have some different cuttings that I believe are Broxensis blue. And you can see this is a mature plant and it will kind of have a bluish tint, believe it or not. It's a very stunning plant, especially in full sun. And here's a very healthy one that I got not too long ago. So it's a pretty new cutting. Now, one of the ones we got from Mr. Emrich has severe rot. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see on the stem right here, it's very badly damaged. This is what happens when you plant it too deep in a pot, you can see. So this will never grow, in my opinion, very vigorously, in my experience. So I have to deal with this one way or another. So what I like to do is I'm gonna have to take cuttings of this plant. So definitely I can't save most of that. Again, this is never gonna be healthy, you can see. I mean, it does have roots, but the cold weather or frost will damage this and it's just not a safe thing to have in the long term. And I think I'll be able to root this entire plant. Not a problem. So what I like to do is, well, actually, hold on. This soil is a little bit too moist. So let me get some better soil. All right, sorry. So I'll make this quick. Now this is my growing medium. I like to use about 30 to 50% coconut coir. I'm having amazing results with it, mixed with Fox Farms and a bit of other things. But uh, I use a tiny bit of this rooting powder, number eight. Probably seen us talk about it before. But I use it on every cutting now. And again, I just cut this cutting and I've sprinkled a little bit on this coconut coir. And now to get this whole plant to root successfully, I'm gonna just set it on that rooting hormone, make sure it gets some on that wet wound. And then honestly, I just let it sit just like that for about a week. I do not water it. I put it in the full shade out of the greenhouse. I don't want it too hot this time of year. And this thing should root without a problem. I've been very successful rooting cuttings, hundreds of them, so. This should be fine. Again, if you water it right now, that's the worst thing you could do. So do not water it. Use a nice dry growing medium. Here's what mine looks like. It's got some earthworm castings in there, a little extra pumice, perlite, vermiculite. And again, leave it dry. So keep it out of the rain and everything and you will have success. So here we go. This is George Emmerich Jr. Number three. All right, here's number 15. It looks pretty damaged, but the roots were intact. So it should be fine, but look at that. All right, there you go. Give us a like, subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks. <laughs>